Check it out. Patient number two's blood results. Almost identical to patient number one's. Mm, both severe anemia. Mm -hmm. And both on the MIAC trial. Coincidence. You're kidding. Oh, come on. Two cases is hardly a pandemic. Yeah, but it's significant. You can't deny that. You don't even know if these two people have got the same type of anemia. Well, I'm willing to bet they do. Come on. There's hundreds of people in the MIAC trial. Two cases of anemia doesn't mean anything. Well, then what's your diagnosis, Sherlock? It's your gig, not mine. Chicken. Pardon? You're sitting on the fence. No, I am being cautious. So should you. The whole point of trialling a drug is to rule out side effects exactly like this one. Oh, no kidding. So? So do what you have to do. Really? Research it further. Ant won't know what's hit him. I know I'm onto something. Well, go for it, Tiger. For what it's worth. I don't reckon you'll find anything. Uh, well, just for the record, when I do, you will be my sex slave for an entire month. I can live with that. Excellent. What are you doing? Cleaning. I can see that. Why? Gotta do something, won't I? Got this stink TV to watch and wine to drink. I don't feel like it. Come on, let's kick him on the couch and I'll open a bottle. No thanks. I bought chocolate. I know how hard this must be, Maya. You know, Jay's gone, Etty's gone, suddenly you've gone Did to you come phone. round just to state the obvious, or was there something else? I'm sorry. I just wish that I knew she was safe, and then I could go back to hating her. When George left, it felt like the walls were caving in. I know what you're going through, Maya. Please let me help. The lavender scented. They're on special. This is one of those jobs they don't tell you about. Oh, Cleaning the results of a lunchbox with no lid from a kid's school bag. Oh, I would have done that. Uh, I had to bin a few things. I managed to salvage this though. Holiday at the beach. Ah. Oh. My head's attached to my body. That's a definite improvement. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I might get it framed. Oh, I'll hang out with the Warner collection. Yeah, why not? I can leave out present. I was hoping for some really bad aftershave. Oh, well, that can be arranged. <laughs> what do you want to do on Sunday? Oh, I thought I might take Harry for a few beers, you know, a game of pool. Uh -huh. Depends on the weather. You know, museum, park. I don't care, so long as I get to hang out with you guys. Mm, and you get breakfast in bed. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> you really love this dad thing. Best decision I ever made, trading in my little black book for a Plunkett one. How come? Oh, no reason. It's just a nice thing you get such a buzz off, Harry. Do you think we're better parents because we're together? Oh, it's a big question tonight, isn't it? <laughs> Let me see. It's better that you don't have a constant stream of sleazy guys coming through. At least I think you don't. Who knows what you do when I'm away in business? <laughs> Excuse me, the guys I used to see were not sleazy. And what about you? Doing the nanny? Well, she was there. <laughs> Can we not talk about this? Yeah, good idea. We're definitely better parents now. Oh, it's just more of a struggle apart, you know? No one to share the joy with. But Harry would be a great kid, even if we did the solo parent thing. Mm. So no regrets then? One, actually. Yeah? Giving Harry yogurt for play lunch. Two admissions this close together can't be ignored. There are a huge number of subjects in the study. It's a coincidence. We've ruled out the anemia being aplastic, but we can't rule out the drugs causing damage to the stem cells. You mind if I sit in? I get the distinct impression I'm being ganged up on here. Hardly. Craig thinks we're looking for problems where there are none. Uh, that's not what I said. I advised further investigation. Uh, carry on. Right. Now, stem cells can be damaged by a number of things. Infections, radiation, chemotherapy, and certain drugs. Now, if PAM-126 is one of those drugs, we need to find out. Which is precisely the point of the trial. Look, I'll pass this on to the haematologist at Scott Spear. He'll have all the data on the post myac admissions, not just Shorten Streets. Well, what's the bet we find more anemia admissions? And what's the bet we find none? 
You could find numerous symptoms on two or more MIAC participants. It doesn't necessarily mean that drugs cause them. No, but it would be irresponsible not to investigate. And it would be a waste of energy to throw yourself in boots and all before there's any concrete evidence. <clears throat> MIAC is my project and I'll do this my way. I wouldn't expect anything else. Do I need to give you two some privacy? No, no, no. Yeah. Craig just enjoys throwing his two cents in where it's not needed. And you see, Sarah is easily bored, which is why she looks for trouble. I'm not the only one. You've had your moments. I pick my battles. You are a hypocrite. You are a drama queen. And I'm going to give the haematologist a call. If that's okay. Thank you. Freaky, I was just thinking about you. Yeah, I should have called first. Oh, no, it's fine. Chris is upstairs working and I need respring from 80s music videos. Does the fact that I enjoy the flashback channel more than the regular music channel mean I'm getting old? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good eye. Fine? I'd prefer water. Uh-huh. So, what were you thinking about me? Okay. Babies happen for a reason. You can make this work. Oh, straight to the point. <laughs> I've had a couple of Chardonnays. And what about my job? Put a portico in the office. Get a nanny. Get a manny. You'll find a way. But surely the fact that I'm undecided means I'm just not ready. People are supposed to celebrate finding out they're pregnant, not worry about it. <laughs> I had the termination box days after finding out I was up the duff. Really? And then I changed my mind and found a lovely couple who wanted to adopt. And then ruined their lives when I just couldn't go through with it at the last minute. Tony, I had no idea. Mm, and even then, I thought I was going to be the world's worst mum. And there have been times when maybe I have been. <laughs> but I love Harry to bits. And who are you? You were way more onto it than I was five years ago. I guess what I'm saying is, if I can do it, you can do it. But there's still Craig. If he wants to be involved, that's an added bonus. Otherwise, leave him out of the equation. Listen to me, I shouldn't be pressuring you. You're not. I'm having the baby. What? Well, my decision was pretty much made. You just helped me seal it. I am going to be a mum. Shortland Street back at noon on Monday, but coming up later tonight, from Ireland to Uruguay, a Galway man gets an intimate look at the childhood of his best friend in Welcome to My World at 7.30.